Brunswick Country Foods Abattoir, Watton, Norfolk. This is day-to-day -day normalcy for the company's 500 employees. Except today, it's a bit different. They've got some visitors this morning. Animal Save groups exist all across the world. This is a group of vegan activists who bear witness to animals before they are taken into a slaughterhouse. I'm here at Cranswick Country Foods in Watton, Norfolk. I'm here to follow the Norfolk Animal Same, one of their peaceful vigils, and to find out the reality of vegan activism. Emily Noble is the organiser of the Norfolk branch of the Animal Save. Emily's group had videos reach thousands and thousands of views on Facebook last year, a feat not many other Animal Save groups can say they have accomplished. Raising awareness of events like this is important, because as, as you can see, there's not a huge amount of numbers here. And numbers attend to what help us keep an agreement, and without the agreement it's really hard to get the footage of the animals before, before they go through the gates. Um, there's some places without agreements where they're having to slow walk lorries into the road, and, and things like that need numbers. And the more people that are here, the more the footage is shared, the more people it can reach as well. Setting up's quite easy, you tend to find where you want to go, here it was ridiculously easy, we had a meeting with the slaughterhouse and straight away we had an agreement in place. Some places take a lot more months of work, it has to build up the communication on both sides. Quite often you have a liaison officer in the police to try and help with that as well. We've got like, videos that really quickly pick up, like, we had at least four or five go viral last year, which for a small group is really good. Isn't it? You get messages all the time from people like, oh I saw that and that is what helped me make the connection. It's, Debbie has been coming to these events for two years. Her blog, The Active Vegan, has almost 5,000 followers. Debbie passionately participates and saves all over the east of England, not just Norwich. Here she explains why. Because until you've actually seen for yourself, you can turn your back on it. Uh, it's not until you've actually faced the reality that it really hits home. And it, it, it makes you more passionate, it makes you more determined than ever to do it, do something about it. The Norfolk Animal Save is a genuinely passionate group who believes their activism is doing a world of good. Cranswick Country Foods were contacted multiple times with regards to this project, however they refuse to offer a statement, despite the Save group suggesting that they have a good relationship with the slaughterhouse. Using statistics offered by the Vegan Society, I can tell you that in the time it has taken you to watch this video, 456,000 animals have been killed for food. If you ask the Norfolk Animal Save, they would tell you that this is the reason why they do what they do. Erin Bashford, Norfolk Newsline.